Today, we take you to meet Diogo Pinheiro, whose saxophone has led him on an adventure across Taiwan. FTV reporter Stephen Yang caught up with a Brazilian musician to find out more about his career and life. Since moving to Taiwan, Pinheiro has worked with prominent musicians such as Jay Chow. Pinheiro was invited to play with Chow at his Carnival World Tour in December 2022. He did the show in Singapore first, yeah, the two shows in Singapore, uh, and he's on tour to celebrate the 20 years, now 23 after COVID, but it was 20 years uh, of his career. So yeah, it's just a whole new level. Of, of performance and organization and everything. I'm really, really happy with this opportunity. Pinheiro started playing saxophone when he was six. Since then, his dream has been to be a professional and perform on big stages. To fulfill his dream, he attended the Stetson University saxophone workshop in the U.S. in 2007. After that, Pinheiro performed at the NAM show, the biggest music trade fair in the world as a guest artist. He moved to Taiwan in 2019, where he performs in a variety of events. Coming from Brazil, the thing I love the most about Taiwan is the safety. Like, it's so safe here. I mean, th this, this last weekend I forgot my saxophone in the parking lot. Because <laughs> I was so tired to too many gigs this year, so I was so I forgot my saxophone in the parking lot. If it's in Brazil in two seconds, I would never see my saxophone again. But it's Taiwan, so Taiwan is super safe. And the second thing, and mostly like that I like the most, Taiwanese people are so nice, really nice, really polite, really helpful, uh, especially with foreigners. I, I feel that, that Taiwan is a very very friendly foreigner fr friendly country so yeah i like the safety i like the country i like the food i love taiwan i just like everything about here when public performances were suspended during the COVID pandemic he began teaching the saxophone i found out that the, the students they don't really have the open ear for music they just read but they are not listening for real what they are playing so i try to focus mostly on, on opening their ear to imagine that instead of just reading music they should sing with their instrument. Pinheiro is currently working on a new CD, which will feature original music inspired by his experiences in Taiwan. One original song on the CD is titled First Kiss. When we compose a song, it needs to, to have some kind of experience related, right? So this, this song, I first kiss because it was a situation in Taiwan, the, the first, yeah, and, and, and this song for me was like trying to transmit that feeling that we have when we, we meet this person and we, we have this first moment uh, of, of, of intimacy. So yeah, I feel that when I play this song, I just kind of relieve that moment. I love Taiwan very much uh, and Taiwan has opened arms to receive me. Uh, in a very, very lovely, lovely way. So I, I want to, my project is to have a copyright CD, like my own compositions, all uh, talking about Taiwan. Like, don't have lyrics, but music is kind of, don't need lyrics sometimes to tell what you feel, right? Pinheiro is passionate about Taiwan and the saxophone. He hopes to continue to tell stories about Taiwan through his music. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Zin Tenlo in Taipei.